Hello and welcome to the first in a series of Nature Notebooks that will take us from autumn into winter. It's the season of mists and mellow fruitfulness. There are no mists today, but plenty of fruiting berries. We're here at Brandon Marsh, and as we make our way to the hides, we're watched by one of the reserve's fairly tame robins. We decide to concentrate on two of the three hides that overlook the East Marsh Pool. It's a pleasant, soft autumn day, a little grey, but mild, with no wind. And as usual, there are excellent views of these cormorant, some busily preening and others with wings outspread after a bout of fishing. They're a common sight inland now. I think they're very impressive looking birds and have an almost prehistoric look about them. There's a pretty large flock of gulls out there, mainly black-headed gulls, both adult and juvenile. There's a few larger juveniles out there too. I think these may be juvenile herring gulls and this could be, I think, a lesser blackback juvenile. As the sun begins to appear from behind the clouds, we continue our vigil looking out over the East Marsh Pool and we see Lapwing and Moorhen. There are at least three or four grey herons on view, this one being given a hard time by the gulls. There's a good selection of wildfowl on view, like this male teal, almost out of eclipse, and likewise these male shoveler. And here's a female shoveler just entering the water. We also see coot, mute swan, and little egret and small groups of widgeon swim close to the shoreline. The first corvids of the day are these jackdaw. And you don't have to be in a hide to enjoy what the East Marsh Pool has to offer. Movement on the shoreline reveals this common sandpiper. It flew across the pool with two green sandpipers which have now flown on, but the common sandpiper descends to forage on one of the islands. More corvids appear this time carrion crow and if we hadn't have seen this bird flying we would never have noticed it it's the superbly camouflaged snipe a male kestrel perches on the osprey nest platform which has been recently erected and it's hopeful will attract future nesting ospreys small birds flit around on the island the young pied wagtail but it's not all birds today there are mammals too, and we see this muntjac deer moving among the trees at the edge of the water. I think it's a female. I can't see any evidence of horns, but I can't be sure. But I'm guilty of leaving the best till last. Because just as we were about to leave the reserve and head home, this happened. My first wild otter since visiting Mull in 2017 the briefest of views, but still magical. So I'll leave you with this ultra slowed down version of the clip, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>